Today, I'd like you to think about what happens by chance. I'm going to read to you from 1 Samuel chapter 6, verses 7, 8, and 9. A little bit longer than the normal sections we take on these daily times in God's Word. But listen carefully. You're going to love what God has to say to you through these verses. 1 Samuel chapter 6, starting at verse 7. Now, therefore, make a new cart. Take two milk cows, which have never been yoked, and hitch the cows to the cart, and take their calves home away from them. Then take the ark of the Lord and set it upon the cart, and put the articles of gold which you are returning to him as a trespass offering in a chest by its side. Then send it away and let it go. And watch, if it goes up the road to its own territory, to Beth Shemesh, then he has done this us this great evil. But if not, then we shall know that it is not his hand that has struck us. It happened to us by chance. Now the Philistines had captured Israel's Ark of the Covenant in battle, but they were plagued and cursed the entire time that they had it. So they had to think of a way to send it back to Israel without bringing an even greater curse upon them. So first, they decided to take two milk cows which have never been yoked. Here, the Philistines conducted an experiment. They thought all the calamity of the plagues was from the Lord God of Israel, but they were not 100% sure. So they devised another test. Men are almost always reluctant to repent, and they want to guard against repenting unnecessarily. So they made up this test, and the test was simple. The odds were against the God of Israel. By nature, two milk cows which have never been yoked should not pull a cart at all. Instead, they should have resisted their yokes. Additionally, they decided to take their calves home away from them. You see, the maternal instinct of the cows would draw them not towards the land of Israel, but back home to their calves. The Philistines devised a test that forced, so to speak, the God of Israel to do something miraculous to demonstrate that he really was the cause of the plagues that had come upon them. In verse 9, the Philistines said what they were hoping to discover. If the cows did not go towards Israel, they said this, Then we shall know that it is not his hand that struck us. It was by chance that it happened to us. You see, they wondered if the tumors and other judgments came simply by chance. Now, many people think that things happen by chance. Some people say that the world was created by chance. Some people who are pretty smart, at least in some areas, often fall into this thinking. There was a famous biochemist named Jacques Monod who wrote this. He said, Chance alone is the source of every innovation, of all creation in the biosphere. Pure chance, absolutely free but blind at the very root of the stupendous edifice of evolution. Now, I believe that claiming that kind of power for chance is crazy because chance has no power. For example, when a coin is flipped, the chance that it will land heads is 50%. However, chance does not make it land heads. Whether or not it lands heads or tails is due to the strength of the flip or the force of the air currents and the air pressure as it flies through the air. It's a factor of where it's caught and whether or not you flip it back over on your hand. Chance doesn't do anything other than describe a probability. Friends, we live in a cause and effect world, and chance is not a cause, but God is the great cause. Realizing that nothing happens by chance should not make us think that every event is full of important meaning from God. No, that's not what we mean. Some things, at least seemingly, just happen and have no great eternal purpose that we can discern. Christians can get off track by trying to see a message from God in every single little thing that happens. But friends, nothing happens by chance. We live in a cause and effect world, 
And I'm here to tell you that the God of heaven, perfectly revealed to us in Jesus Christ, is the great cause of all creation and our redemption. Have confidence in that truth today. Thank you.